I am posting this message with a specific purpose in mind. Recently, I've been posting a lot of images, mainly images of myself when I was younger, not now, which in some ways I've changed, in some ways I haven't. And in every way, I have definitely matured. Nonetheless, I want to be clear on a few things. Singularity does not mean seeking. Just because people are seeing more of me and my personal profile doesn't mean I'm looking for someone or I'm on the market or I'm available. I am probably the most unavailable person humanly possible. It has nothing to do with preference. It has nothing to do with most of the things that are commonly the cause of someone being unavailable, like other relationships, other interests, etc., etc. In my particular case, it is because of a calling in my life. There are people who are still trying to find themselves even at my age and do not forget, I'm about to turn 60. I am not a young person. I am not an inexperienced or unseasoned person. I am a mature senior who have seen more and done more than most people twice my age in my lifetime. I am an old spirit. This isn't my first time around. So a lot of the frivolous things that interest other people, a lot of the superficial material things that are important to others have no meaning to me, not even the least. A lot of the carnal desires do not resonate the same way with me. I am a different creature on many levels. Not because I want to be different, because that's being different is draws attention to yourself socially. No, I'm different because I am different. I am a different being on a spiritual level. And I cannot be what most people are. I wasn't designed to be what most people are. I just am not what most people are. And never will be. Even if I desire to do so or be so, it is not possible. Lions are lions, tigers are tigers. Apples were apples, oranges are oranges. Now, of course, there's some hybrids, but it's unnatural, and they can't reproduce. They are not fruitful. I am as I am. I am a very singular creature. I am a very solitary creature. Most people cannot handle how solitary I am, or how singular I am. Singular does not mean selfish. I'm very loving and kind and very giving to those around me. But I am not needy. I am not clingy. I can stand on my own two feet just fine and prefer to do so. I ask very little from anyone because I don't really need much of anything from anybody. It's not a matter of 
Oh, you're a feminist. No, I'm a singular being. It doesn't matter if you're a man, woman, child, animal, or any other creatures of any other dimensions. I don't need a lot from anyone outside of myself. Primarily, everything I need is within me. I don't have the same desires and wants as people seeking externally the things that they need because I know what I need most is already within me and within my grasp. And I understand most will not be able to comprehend and perceive what I'm saying. And I respect that. Being alone does not mean that you're lonely. People who relish their solitude we're contemplating the universe. We're learning, we're growing. Our minds are extremely inquisitive. We're researching. We are taking deep dives within our own spirits and our own beings to who we are and what makes us tick. We know ourselves on levels that most people don't know themselves because they don't ask the questions that we ask and don't examine the answers that they get the way we do. We are few and far in between. Trying to fit into a society and a world that's all based around herds of people, flocks of people grouping together, lone wolves, singular spirits and creatures. We don't fit into that beehive mentality. And again, we don't desire to. Too much noise, too much fuss, too much clinginess. Too much of everything. Drama, you name it. It's just too. Solitary creatures. When you invite someone into your space for a relationship, it is difficult. Unless you have a relationship with someone who is also a very solitary creature. Or someone who is so in sync with you that you don't notice their presence. Their presence is just an extension of yourself. Not an intrusion or interruption, but an extension. Which is extremely rare and hard to find. A tremendous blessing when you are able to find that. But again, extremely rare and extremely hard to find for souls like mine. Most relationships, no matter how loving, no matter how much you love the person, are still stifling, are still restrictive. Imagine having wings. But everyone you know can only walk. You want to fly and soar in the heavens. You want to spread your wings and feel the wind in your wings. But you're earthbound because everyone you know and love can only walk. You walk with them for a time, but then you need to be away from them so that you can spread your wings and fly. Otherwise, your wings will wither and die. You can't be with them all the time.